Hey folks, I'm back with a new PBR random Wi-Fi battle. Uh, it's, this is using my OU singles team, my original one, and my opponent is making me go, oh man, because he's got a Latios, he's got a Garchomp, and he's got uh, what's annoying me the most is a Wobbuffet. And I'm like, I don't want to deal with this. But so I, I pick Mamoswine to lead because Mamoswine can deal with Latios and Garchomp. Um, Umbreon, I figure, might be a good counter to Wobbuffet, and then uh, Crobat, I also have a strategy that I may or may not uh, get a chance to use against Wobbuffet um, with it, so I'm not sure, but anyway, those are my three selections, and the battle begins, and I'm just hoping that maybe he's going to choose his other three, seeing that I'm not using any Ubers, um, but I'm just not having any faith in that whatsoever. Um, so anyway, he leads off with Caesar, and... Um, I, I've got Mamoswine out, so I decide I'm going to go ahead and use Rock Slide. I'm not sure why I do this. I think I thought it was super effective, um, forgetting that Steel resists it. Um, but anyway, I knew the Bullet Punch was coming, but uh, Mamoswine has a little bit of defense investment, and so I was able to take that hit decently well. And so here comes the Rock Slide, and as you're about to see, it really doesn't do very much. Uh, you know, maybe does a third, but that's not going to be enough to kill that Caesar. So I'm going to have to switch out. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and send out Crobat, um, you know, thinking that Crobat's pretty darn bulky and sh I should be able to take uh, whatever he dishes out. Plus I've got, you know, the nice Roost uh, to heal off any damage. So Scissor goes ahead and uses another Bullet Punch, you know, which makes sense. So I'm thinking at this point that it's probably Banded. Um, but anyway, as you can see, uh, does not do even a, you know, maybe does a third to me, less after Black Sludge. Um, you know, so 50 out of 177 um, is less than a third. So anyway, uh, Caesar is pulled back, and I'm like, okay, well, let's see who else he's got. And so out comes uh, Zapdos, um, which, you know, kudos to you for having Zapdos. I have Zapdos. I love Zapdos. Um, and that's going to totally screw me over with my Brave Bird. Um, but, you know, I'm really not fearing too much from this Zapdos. Um, and I decide that I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be smart and I'm going to think that he's going to go for a thunder, uh, you know, an electric type attack and I'm going to call the back Crobat. I really don't know this guy's competence level. Anyway, out goes Mamoswine, um, and he goes for the Roost, so this is some kind of roosting set, maybe sub-roost or maybe physically defensive, not sure. But I'm going to go ahead and Ice Shard it, um, because I doubt I'll be able to outspeed it, and Ice Shard will be a super effective hit anyway. Um, it does a lot of damage, but does not one-hit KO, which is a shame. And then Zapdos is something that I've never seen a Zapdos do before, and that's U-Turn. doesn't do too much damage to me, and that's good. Um, but I'm like, a U-Turn? Seriously? So I'm wondering who he's going to send out. Maybe I'm going to see his third guy. But no, Caesar's back out, uh, which I guess makes sense. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull him back, hoping that he doesn't run Pursuit. Um, you know, most banded Caesars do run Pursuit. So, uh, you know... Turns out he wasn't running Pursuit. I do manage to successfully call back Mamoswine, and I go ahead and send out Crobat. Uh, Scissor actually runs U-Turn. Uh, that's such a strange choice, but anyway, does nothing. Uh, or Scissor uses U-Turn, uh, and anyway, um, doesn't really do too much damage against me. And I don't think it would have even KO'd Mamoswine. So whatever. But anyway, uh, goes ahead and sends out Wobbuffet. So Wobbuffet is the third guy, and I'm like, oh jeez. But you know what? If someone's got to be trapped. Glad it's Crobat. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and use Taunt at this point um, because I figure, wait, so all of um, Wobbuffet's moves are non-attacking, so I'm wondering what Taunt will do to it. So yeah, um, he was going to go for an Encore, which is great for me um, because now he can't use Encore. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, use U-Turn um, because I've pretty much crippled this guy, but it doesn't mean I can do any damage to him. Um, so... As you can see, U-Turn does pretty much nothing. Um, so I'm like, okay, well that's pretty good actually. That's good for me, um, because if U-Turn's not doing anything, then that means Counter is not going to do too much. So out goes Umbreon, um, and Wobbuffet does go ahead and use Counter. Counter is not disabled by, Encore, uh, by uh, Taunt, which is a shame. And that does a whole hell of a lot! I'm like, oh my god! I actually had to look it up. Wobbs has... Uh, insanely high HP. I never had a cause to look it up because I'd never, you know, seen it in battle. I knew it was, I knew it's strategy, but I'd never, you know, known stats. Um, but so anyway, I went for the curse um, on the switch, uh, which really, in retrospect, I should have gone for the moonlight. But I was uh, thinking that, uh, you know, he can't attack me. This is a perfect time to set up. Um, and besides, you know, 
Uh, I'm, he's not going to attack with a special attack, and at plus one defense, I'm pretty sure I can take any of his hits. So I'm going to go ahead and go for the Moonlight here to get some recovery action, and Caesar goes ahead and uses U-Turn, which I guess could have been expected. What I wasn't expecting that was that it would take out Umbreon. I'm like, oh my god, seriously? It took me out? But this is actually, this is a real big shame. Mick has never, I've never expected that to happen to Mick, of all Pokemon. Um, Mick is the name of my Umbreon, um, and it's earned itself quite a reputation for being pretty much unkillable. But anyway, I do get the, um, the, uh, I do get to, you know, send out my Pokemon seeing who he sends out. So I go ahead and send out Mamoswine, and I'm figuring that he's probably going to switch, but I'm going for the Ice Shard anyway. And he doesn't switch, which he knew I was running Ice Shard. That's what did all that damage in the first place. So why would he fodder his Zapdos? And the only thing I can think of is that so he could send out Wobbuffet. But he doesn't send out Wobbuffet. He sends out Scissor. And it's like, well, what the heck? So I go ahead and go for Ice Shard here. Not sure why. Um, doesn't do any damage, really. Um, that was maybe, you know, that was a mistake on my part. But I'm so lucky he decided, instead of, of attacking, he decided he was going to predict my switch and use Roost. So at this point, I got to pull out. Oh, this, by the way, so Scissor runs Roost. That means it can't be banded, um, unless he's really stupid. Um, but so, yeah, he's not banded, yet he doesn't have Life Orb. So I'm like, what the hell is this guy running for an item? I'm thinking, based on the damage, maybe it's a muscle band. But I really don't know, and in truth, it doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, I'm accumulating a lot of damage here, but I can roost it off, so... And, you know, his attacks aren't doing uh, any more than half. So as long as he doesn't get a crit, I'm okay here. Um, so, yeah, I keep on roosting. I'm gonna go for, you know, go try to get full HP, um, and see what he does. He goes ahead and uses roost. And so I'm thinking, well, if I do go ahead and decide that I'm going to start attacking this guy, I'm going to need to taunt it, because otherwise this battle's going to drag on forever. So I go for the Brave Bird here, um, and it does a respectable amount. Um, you know, looks like probably a three-hit KO, especially since it's not running leftovers or any other kind of recovery item, as far as I can tell. And then Caesar uses U-Turn. And so I'm like, oh, geez. Uh, I'm about to get trapped into Wobblehead again. But that's okay, because you know what? My Crobat, I've shown, can handle Wobbuffet. Um, Wobbuffet, strangely, is not running leftovers. You know, you always want to run your Wobbuffet with leftovers. Um, but anyway, after a taunt, um, I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. Uh, now, the only issue is, you know, U-Turn is doing a lot more damage than I thought it was doing. And so I don't know that I can survive a, um, a counter. So I'm going ahead and I'm roosting up as much damage as I can. Uh, or roost wing away as much damage as I can before I attack, and so I gotta choose between U-Turn and Brave Bird. Um, Brave Bird, thanks to Stab, and the fact that it has higher base power, will do more than U-Turn, so I go ahead and use U-Turn, even though it's gonna force me to send in Mamoswine, because it's the- because I don't think I can survive a counter from a Brave Bird. Um, especially considering recoil damage. Yeah, recoil would just completely kill me, even if the counter itself didn't. So out goes Mamoswine, and here comes the counter, um, and it is going to take out my poor Mamoswine. So that's that's really something to cry over, because now, I, I mean, it, I'd essentially sent him as death fodder. Um, but, yeah, it sucks. Uh, anyway, Wobbuffet no longer has, uh, no longer is taunted, so the first thing I'm going to have to do is taunt it again. Um, and so he's got two Pokemon left, I'm down to Crobat, and I'm just thinking there's no way I'm going to win this. Um, but you know what, we're just going to see what happens. So Wobbuffet does counter, predicting that I'm going to attack or something, but, uh, you know, I'm not letting him encore me, um, even though, you know, I've got enough PP that I could just wait it out. Um, so he goes ahead and uses U-Turn, um, no, I go ahead and use U-Turn, and then he goes ahead and uses counter, and I'm fearing at this point how much damage it's going to do, and as you can see, it does about 75%, and so I'm not going to be able to do two attacks in a row, I'm going to have to roost after pretty much every time I attack. So that's that means that this is going to be a one hell of a long match, and I'm not too happy about that. Anyway, I've got to keep taunting him, because uh, if he encores me, it's just going to be a big waste of time, and God forbid he should encore me into an attacking move. That would completely kill me. But so I'm doing, you know, minimum amount of damage, um, and I'm just hoping that it'll be okay. Um, Wobbs go as ahead and counters me, and I am surviving. Uh, 
You know, for once in my life, I am praying that I don't get a crit. Um, but anyway, Waba Fett is called back, and out goes Caesar. So I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do against Caesar. I don't know how I'm going to kill this guy. Um, but, you know, he's not running Stone Edge. I don't know if they actually can run Stone Edge. But he's not running any attacks that would be super effective against me, even if I weren't in the air. Um, yeah, so let's see if I can remember what he's using. He's using Roost, uh, uh, the, uh, Bullet Punch, uh, and... Are those the only two moves I've seen? I'm not sure. But anyway, he's not really too much of a threat to me, it looks like. Um, and especially now that I've taunted him, uh, you know, he's not going to be able to recover. Uh, and so I'm not sure what he's going to do. He's going to keep on bullet punching. Um, but I can survive a bullet punch, you know, I'm not really that afraid of it. And so I'm going to go ahead and go for the maximum damaging Brave Bird, you know, also hoping that he's going to switch out, because if he switched out and I got it in a Brave Bird when he couldn't use a counter, that would be great, because I'd be able to take his Pokemon down far more in terms of its HP. But so anyway, I do something stupid here and I go for a Brave Bird, and I, I, as soon as you go, I'm like, no, no, undo, undo! Because it doesn't matter that I can survive the bullet punch, that's whatever, but can I survive the recoil is the question. And so I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god! And I KO his Caesar, so at least it's a two, uh, you know, at least I've gotten to one HP, but I take him out, and I can't quite tell whether I survived. Did I survive? Did I survive? Did I survive? Oh my god, I survived! Oh, Crobat survived! Um, sorry, that was probably pretty loud, but I'm just so grateful I survived. And so now he's on to Crobat, which I've shown I can wall him. And he knows that I can wall him, so he goes ahead and resigns, and thank god, I actually won that match, and I'm just so happy. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, challenge Gen 5.